Here we go again, sports fans. I'm here with my brothers, Half Baked Just Us Sports, doing it again two different ways. Of course, Josh, founder, CEO, with Larry in spirit. Of course, John, our other brother. Our other brothers are not here. Chuck, James, endless, endless, endless folks. Hey, look, we are in off season right now when it comes to the NFL, but you know what? We cover all sports right now. We're working out the kinks. We have to do what we have to do. Here we go starting. We have the draft that's next week. Guys, what are your thoughts on this? Well, uh, sadly, and I will be, I will humbly admit this, I have not actually looked at a mock draft yet. Well, I did a couple. I've listened to them, but to be honest with you, it's the mock draft is is that. It's a, somebody think this is what they should do or why they shouldn't do this. Um, the, everybody knows Lawrence is a lock. Anybody disagree with that? I don't necessarily think yeah. he's a lock, but I, I mean, he definitely seems to be. Because there's, I've heard two different takes for that. Um, I can't remember who the other quarterback was, but I heard that there's another someone being looked at. But yeah, I mean, uh, it was, most, it was, most, uh, most Mike, Mac Jones was Mac Jones probably was the, the, okay. the only one that could surpass him in a in potentially. The first round. Yeah, but, and it really. Depends. But he's still he's still number one and number two, no matter what. And well, I mean, it depends on who's number two, right? Yeah, I mean, Say again. Is where this is your team? Where's the list? Which team? Because your team. college. Mm-hmm. No, uh, Michigan. They ain't. They ain't got nobody. You're a Michigan team. guy. They ain't got nobody. Josh? Texas. I'm a Texas and Michigan guy. And they ain't you know got I'm nobody Iowa. coming. Iowa. They ain't got Iowa. nobody coming out of there. University of Iowa. There is no other team in Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is, but don't tell him that. Oh, wow. <laughs> he gonna believe hey, me anyway. And but, uh, I've had many fights with my siblings. Well. Not really siblings, because she's an Iowa fan. <laughs> but all my cousins on my dad's side, and some of my mom's, they all know. I Cyclones who? Don't I, Iowa State? Don't care. I heard that. The only, time, a- the only time Iowa State matters is when they're playing somebody other than Iowa. There's an Iowa State? Yeah. Mm. Now, you know what's kind of funny about this, gentlemen? When we, when we chime in, uh, fans, y'all are allowed to chime in to us, too. Because we definitely yes, want like, feedback. subscribe, and comment below. Please, if we have time, we'll get to them. <laughs> now, guys, now we look at when it comes to college football. We have the Big Ten, Pac-12. I think I said it backwards or something. SEC, like that. You go, uh, yeah, you go round, but round, round. I mean, there is hundreds of college teams out there. Then <clears throat> we look at who's your favorite team. Like me, for example, these guys are probably gonna punch me in the head. I'm a Northwest guy. I, I, I do roll with the Oregon guys, uh, those Oregon folks. Can't get mad at you. I mean, you know, I mean, but Texas, that's where I'm at, Texas first. But I have multiple teams I follow and subscribe to, look for. Outside of that, I mean, there's so much talent because when you look at a, a young man coming into his role, say, hey, am I going to have this draft? Uh, this is going to be a life-changing experiment or life-changing experience. Sorry. It's, a, it's an center. experiment at first. <laughs> experiment. It's, it's definitely an experiment at first. It's kind of a big thing. It's kind of like graduation. You're either going to graduate or you're not. So what are you guys' uh, uh, thoughts about when it, when it's time for that, like next week? How, how, do you make your, how do you make your decision when to go? Yeah, better said, sir. Well, uh, for me, um, I'm going to be honest with you. you. It's a feeling. I mean, you just get a feeling. Uh, a lot of players come out of college when they have great years and they you know, they need the money. They got family members, like yeah. especially especially minorities. They come out because they're, they're, you know, oh, I can get picked up by an NFL team this year. I can help my family, da, da, da. They start out that way. Right. And then you got other guys um, – that get hyped up like okay, you look at Johnny Manziel. He didn't need the money. <laughs> that name. He, he played. He that played, was Texas. Texas. He played. Right? He played great football he in, in college. Aggies. He played. He played good enough football in college to be drafted, and he knew he was gonna get drafted yeah. in a high rank. So he came out then. You then know, you got other guys like you look at Trevor Lawrence. He stayed. He could have got drafted last year, but he stayed. Yeah. yeah. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And not because of anything other than the fact that he wanted to play another year of college. You got a lot of guys that get getting going to these college programs, and they say, "Oh, I'm trying to get my money up, mm. get my get my stats up, so when I do go to the NFL, I can make boo coups of well, dollars." And I th- I think that also with Trevor Lawrence. Uh, Inexperience was definitely a part of it. I mean, I think he did have, what, two solid starts over there in Clemson? Yeah. I also think that there were a couple of really difficult uh, competitors that he would be vying for, and he was definitely not a top 10 selection. He he was not going to be number one last year. Yeah, now now he's potentially a number one overall. 
um, which obviously increases his money yeah. prospects. Um, even if he drops to number two or three, I yes. okay. Question: uh, Just in, in case of a fluke, kind of like kind of like with the the Manzel draft. <laughs> do, 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 do you do you think there's a chance that he would drop past ten? No. Well, uh, unless unless he does a crime or something, <laughs> no, I don't think he he wouldn't drop past five. Even well, if he if if he, he got caught in some kind of sex scandal, he still wouldn't drop past. I, five. I I think I think as long as he doesn't dress up as a police officer, I think we're fine. Yeah, you know what's very funny, gentlemen. Uh, I don't talk like this, but I'll say this for the fans. You know what's very super hyper funny to me that the whole Johnny Manziel not scandal or nothing. But Texas versus Texas A and M, that's always gonna be a like nunchucks or something. But let's go ahead and speed it up. This man walked out his sophomore year, mm -hmm. four year college, university. Yep. And oh yeah, hey, money, 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 money. And that's when the draft hit. And then okay, you go to that dang team. <laughs> I ain't gonna say the dang team name because everybody who knows that name should know what team he played for. But then he started his life in the NFL money. And then that money, money, money that he spit out when he got drafted because he did that whole deal. That was kind of funny and ironic because his whole party life outside of football was eating him up because you could see his black eyes. And that's what kind of well, ruined him because he went to try out for Canadian League. And he didn't even make it there. But, but I'll and say they this, don't even pay hundreds of thousands. But I'll, I'll say this: like when you Unless when you, you, when you mentioned Johnny Manziel, I was yeah. you would see the TMZ stuff. I would see the TMZ stuff. I, I didn't that. see any of people. I didn't see any of these um, football pro uh, football station like ESPN, uh, Fox Sports. Spent a whole lot of time discussing him. Yeah. They would talk about it, and then it was gone. And it's just like his career. You talked about it. You saw it for. A, Blip, and then he was gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he did that to himself. All the talent in the world, no, no drive. And then you look at other quarterbacks that come in his league. That I'm looking at these Division two guys that that are just as good as a Division one player. They just play on a Division two. Probably won't ever get a shot. They have to be on a, a practice squad for a couple of years before they get their shot. And when I hear these uh, the the an other analysts saying. Oh, um, you gotta look, try to find that next dominant rope, that next Tom Brady. He might be in a Division two school. He, he he's still good in his talent. No, I'm not talking about Manziel. I'm talking about I'm talking about the draft is coming up. I'm oh. talking about the potential to find who who has that eye to find that guy that even he may not be the the best in this bunch, but he could put like Tom Brady, six six round, fifth round pick. Yeah, came the greatest of all time. All right, you might find who has that eye to find that guy. In yeah. the draft. And so when I hear these analysts, they're only talking about the ones with the polished records. They're not talking about these guys that struggled a little bit in college, but they might come into the pros and bust ass. Let's get off Manziel. Josh. We wasn't on Manziel, fool. Josh, uh, we're wondering, uh, we were not on Manziel, but let's think of a name, uh, Vince Young. Why are we going old school, man? Hey, I mean, why we're, why are you we're going supposed backwards? To, school, but you're going backwards. We're, we're not backwards. talking about... We're, we're, that's I know, what I'm saying. I, you're you not know, following I, the I'm okay with doing a comparison. But we're, we are trying to talk about the draft. Yeah. And, yeah, and of course, and we all, we all know, so we already covered Trevor Lawrence is the favorite for number one overall. Uh, we, we will be uh, doing a live feed on Thursday at our friend Larry's to uh, not only have our natural reactions, but we're going to have everything set up. <laughs> we're going to have a, 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 one of our uh, iPads set up to go live on Facebook, on our, on our website, Half Baked for Sports, on the Facebook um, and then we're also going to basically have a camera going, which we're going to talk to both so that we can edit it and get all of our reactions edited and posted to YouTube. But I will say this here. When you talk about the draft right now, everybody's talking about how many quarterbacks have come out in the first 20, first round period. I'm thinking at least four to five quarterbacks. Um, well, they're actually looking – I mean, I'm just looking at the first ten, and we've got quarterbacks going one and two. Yeah. Projected. Actually, quarterbacks going one, two, and three on, on this uh, mock the, draft. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, Zach, Zach Wilson, Wilson no, no. Justin Fields. We talked and about then, this. And then you got another one here in, let me see, I just saw it. Trey Lawrence, Trey at Lawrence number 10. So what is that? It's four? That's and four. First There's 10. one more a little further down. Yeah, Mac Jones, Mac Jones, 14. Now, they say Mac Jones could actually jump past Justin Fields. That, um, and that depends on how much they like him. Yeah. And so when I'm looking at these drafts, I mean, when you look at these mock drafts or what you put the potential, um, 
body of work, all these quarterbacks did good things. Oh, yeah. All of them, all of them. Mac Jones has a championship. Uh, Trevor Lawrence has a championship. I mean, all these guys did good things in college. Can it transition over into the pros? That's always the question. And that's and that, and that's the that's the risk you take getting a quarterback. You look at um, when Deshaun Watson came out. When uh, uh, what's the, uh, the uh, Andrew Luck came out. Mm-hmm. These number one overall. Good, these are good quarterbacks. How many came out? And let's think. And how many number they do? one overall? They get in the NFL. They they they, they open yeah. some eyes, but they still ain't won anything. So, well, but see, in a win now league, I mean, take a look. Uh, Andrew Luck definitely came in and filled some really big shoes. Yes, he did. Yeah, he okay. Did. Yes, he did. And and he had a couple of chances, but then take a look at who he, who he's going up against. You know, he's he was going up against uh, Brady in his prime in the AFC, <laughs> oh, right? Let, and let's not forget, you know, Roethlisberger in Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. I mean, when you take a look at what what yeah what, what Luck had to face. And not, not to mention, you know, the adversity he had to face in but, in the South Division with the Texans when they were running. And then now, now you look at uh, you look at quarterbacks like uh, uh, Tri- uh, uh, Jackson, um, Lamar, Lamar Jackson, Deshaun Watson, uh, Andrew. If Andrew Luck was playing right now, mind sharp as hell, arm strong as hell. But you still got to go up against these two quarterbacks in the AFC, plus Ben Roethlisberger, plus well, uh, Roethlisberger is on his way out. Well, I'm just saying at the time, I'm saying if he if he just stayed, he stayed. But he he, what was it like? It wasn't that long ago. It was what three three years? Yeah, three four years ago, Roethlisberger was still playing pretty well. So Tom Brady was still a Patriot. Yeah. So like I said, uh, the quarterbacks that are that are going against in the AFC right now are young. Most of them are young. Ben Roethlisberger is probably the oldest one. Everybody else is a young quarterback. Andrew Luck well, would have been the elder statesman, statesman now. Well, yeah, because yeah, uh, Rivers just retired. Yeah, he Rivers was, just retired. He, he was that last of that of he that was the last draft of that class. Breeze. Yeah, Drew Brees just retired. So Drew, if you look, Drew on, you look on the NFC side, um, it's a bunch of older quarterbacks that are still starting. But then you look at Kyle Murray, uh, Golf. Who, I mean, he's it, gonna be there well, a while. It, it, it's actually kind of scary when you take it the NFC because I think the oldest one right now that's still playing is Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, Aaron, Rod- Aaron yeah. Rodgers oh. and then Matthew Stafford. Ma- Matthew Stafford, but I think uh, I think. Aaron I think Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers is older, and let's not forget um, uh, Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan, okay, Matt Ryan, okay, that's Matt your oldest, and, and now Tom Brady because he's in the NFC too. Yeah, he's so in. Tom got, Brady has it all. No, no, no. We're not. <laughs> I'm saying though, you got oldest four. You got. You got. You got. The, the, no, you got four. Me, you got four older quarterbacks in the them. NFC that are playing at the top of their game. Oh, and yeah. then you got all these young cats pulling on their coat. Hey, we coming to get you. We coming to get you. In the AFC, Ben Roethlisberger is now the older, oldest quarterback. I don't know if there's another starting quarterback that's that's even close to ten years in. You you, you guys said it so. Really now, when you look at these teams like Jacksonville, like the New York Jets, um, all these losing teams, They're Houston, all even the Houston, even the Houston, it's not a restructuring thing with the Houston Texans. Not sure what they're gonna do with Deshaun Watson. <laughs> um, uh, uh, the Colts uh, got to find a quarterback. Well, they got uh, went Carson Wentz. Yeah, um, and, I, and I think that Carson Wentz will be able to match up well but, in that, especially if you take a look at what Colts have done. Okay, because they gave they gave Rivers a lot of weapons. Yeah, they beefed up that offensive line. The defense has been playing well. I think that Wentz will be able to come in and, and make them competitive in that division. I still think uh, a lot of these teams need a solid backup. Oh yeah, I, I, well take the backup. Yeah, well, every when, NFL team needs well, who, a solid backup. Let's we, go on and we, say that. We may even need to look at that. Of course, uh, it's kind of pointless to do any kind of um, a- analytics on uh, what do they call that? The uh, the the position charts. Yeah. But, oh yeah. yeah. Um, but depth like chart. depth chart. Thank yeah. Okay. You. But you can go back to uh, oh, you look at Detroit, right? You just traded for golf. You got a younger quarterback. You gave up. That right, was uh, funny with the you golf gave up, trade. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You gave up Stafford for I, golf. I am actually a Rams fan to an extent. But you gave up golf. <laughs> you gave up golf I, for I Stafford. Really, <laughs> and then now Detroit. Is we already covered at, that trade. But I'm saying you're looking at Detroit like. Do you want to draft a quarterback? You got a high pick. Do you want to draft a quarterback just in case? Well, obviously, Goff? I think they went with Goff because he's young and he's a place filler. Yeah, and then, but like I said, do you draft another quarterback to back him up just in case he doesn't work out? Maybe if you can get somebody good, but I guess it depends on where you're at. They're I number mean, where, seven. They're, they're number seven. Well, I, they they're not. Well, they're not projected to take anybody. I thought at they seven. Were, they, I think they were number seven. Mm, who are they? Number seven, Detroit. They're looking at Devonta Smith. Which is a right wide receiver, which that makes I more was, sense. I, if, if you got golf, you already got golf, so yeah, you want weapons. You want weapons. So like when you look at uh, okay, here's San Francisco. Um, oh, Garoppolo. Garoppolo uh, to me is not the answer. I'm sorry, he's not the answer. So uh, he'll make it happen. He's not the answer. 
Um, you can say me, whatever you want. Team, uh, uh, I'm so sorry, but it's my turn to talk. You might want to hold that down. He is not. He is yeah, not the answer. Seconds. Uh, well, I mean, they're at three. Should he get traded? They're at got... three, and they're looking at taking Justin Fields. Justin Ohio Fields, State quarterback. QB. Does it make sense to me? Yes, it does make sense. It well, does well, make okay. sense to take Justin Fields. Let, let's, let's, and let's not forget, there's two. Go back? We're not talking about your feelings. All right, we're talking about facts. Look, when yeah. it comes when it comes down to it, when it comes to the draft. You have two choices. You draft what you need, or you draft the best player available. Yes. There, there is no in between. You don't you don't grab somebody you don't need, and you don't grab the second best player that's still available in, in their category, their position. So it makes sense because even if you're not going to use him, he's a solid third third position pick. Yep. And you can get good value in a trade. So and that he, and, and so think about it right there. That might be a prime spot for the San Francisco 49ers to maybe trade with someone to let them come up and take him, and they can go down, and, and they can go down and, and get something that but more suits would, what they need. But the reason the biggest thing we need that. Chuck for this. Chuck, we're missing you, man. You, yeah, Chuck, man, Chuck is the here, Chuck man. is the draft master but on I'm, Madden, I'm, I'm, and I'm believe it or not, this, this, I'm saying this. That, that's I'm becoming this. more realistic. The with the most recent updates, yeah, but I'm saying is the reason I say it makes sense. Him. It makes sense for them to take a quarterback, other than you know because Garoppolo and even the backup. Yeah, the backup, yeah. hold on, no, no, the backup did well while he was out, but as you can see, he yeah, was not right. the answer, and neither is Garoppolo. So you need to get another quarterback in there to find that answer at quarterback. Because like I said, when Garoppolo left yeah, and, uh, New and England then, and went over there, I, I kept saying he wasn't the answer. But everybody, oh yeah, he did. And, no, and don't get me wrong. I mean, he he showed he showed some good effort there. I I, I liked what I saw, but I don't he's think he's not consistent. A consistent though. Quarterback. Well, I don't think he's consistent with the injury. It, it called a lot of questions in his uh, durability. Um, and yeah, so I mean, I don't. He's definitely a solid journeyman, if nothing else. But you do you may need at least a solid backup to. to and stick then with you him. got okay. Let's take Seattle. They're looking to shop um, Russell Wilson. No, uh, are they, they gonna? Are to. they gonna? Are they gonna need they a quarterback? They don't need to. It's not no, about me. It's it's so much turmoil over this. It's like with the Texans and Deshaun Watson. It's so much turmoil going around. You get rid of the headache. And if you're the owner, it's easier for me to get rid of a player and bring somebody else in who can probably fill his shoes, not right now, but soon, than keep the headache. That's the problem. That's not the problem. That's the answer. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you right now. uh, Hopefully, my brothers here will agree with me. No, we won't. When you have a veteran player that's put up numbers and points, Super Bowls, touchdowns, just broke records. Versus this young man, here we go, coming in. Yeah, we need somebody new. So that team that was the best team for years and years and years, but then they fell just for a year though. or two. What records did Garoppolo break? We went to the Super Bowl. <laughs> win. Okay. Anyway. Oh, you went to the forward. Super Bowl. Oh I'm my not God. talking about San Francisco. I'm talking about a hole <laughs> on the draft. You right. got a lot of veterans right now sweating they balls off. Excuse me, y'all. But they're saying, hey, look, how does this young man come in and take my job? Russell and Wilson did exactly it. Exactly what He happened. came in. He was drafted number five. Well, no, they drafted deal. him for that position. He, was he didn't take anybody's job. He, but no, he was the fifth round draft pick also. He came and took somebody. He, he was the fifth what, overall. What was the fifth overall pick? What was the guy they just signed from Green Bay, uh, the backup quarterback behind? Uh, oh, White. Uh, I forgot his back, name, man. but they just signed yeah. him. He came and took the man's job. Who's going to say this young kid, that's, that's why right. I fresh out of college, is going to take my job? Well, guess what? It Hold happened. Because yeah. I think you're it right. Happened. I thought it was. You gotta look at, you gotta so you look can't at make that statement. It, All I'm saying is these kids are coming out of college. Some are going to be ready. Some are not going to be ready. Yeah. But I say this here. As far as, as far as. When it comes San to Francisco, the as far as as far as yes, San Francisco, as far as San Francisco, as far as uh, Seattle Seahawks, okay. as yeah. far as Detroit and, and Lions. And correction, I pulled it up. Uh, you, you're right. He wasn't fifth or he was third round, and he was a 75th pick overall that Seattle and got. Took, and he took and the he starting took over, job. Uh, I want to say, yeah, it was the one from Green Bay, it was and the one I remember from Green that Bay. It was a white, I forgot white, his last name. I want to say white something. If, 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 uh, I don't know. If, Charlie if, White, maybe. No, I don't think it was Charlie White. But I'm telling you like this here. These guys coming out of college are hungry. 
Mm-hmm. These right. complacent, these complacent quarterbacks that sign these big contracts. Yeah. Oh, I ain't got to do nothing. I just got to show up. Yeah. Well, that's what Garoppolo. That's really what it means. Garoppolo, you went to the Super Bowl. Why with you Sanford, still talking about my team? I want you to listen because this you have a problem with that. I'm football. not talking about just your team. I'm talking about San Francisco. I'm talking about Seattle. I'm talking about Texas. Detroit. I'm talking about the Texans. I'm talking about anybody that's got a quarterback problem, whether it's off the field or on the field. These quarterbacks that's coming out of college <laughs> will be drafted by one of them to replace you if you keep doing the stuff you're doing. If you're not performing, if you're causing issues in the, in the front office, back office, whatever office you want to call it, yeah, it's happening. Man. It's going to happen. Man. And now, is it... Should Garoppolo have a – should San Francisco take him? Yes. Should Seattle take him? Should Seattle take him? Matt, Seattle Matt take, Flynn? Matt Flynn. That's his name. Came out, came out of Green Bay. Highly talented quarterback. He was the backup. That he was the backup. He, remember, he lit up Detroit. He lit I up think Detroit was, for like six, seven touchdowns. It was, yeah, it was insane. Yeah. So, yeah, why, not, why not – Why not? okay, if it happened once, lightning does strike twice. It does strike twice. Yeah, it happened. Look at, look at Mahomes. You got uh, Alex, Alex Smith. Mahomes back his backup. Guess what? Passed him up. Bye, see you, Deuce. Bye, Alex Smith. We got Mahomes now. Hmm. Here, here's um, um, uh, what's the kid name? Um, uh, Carson Wentz and, and and Foles. They battling back and forth. One of them got this cop. Then the other one got the. the, the Both come of on. those two are veterans. It does. It, they veterans now. Oh, they weren't yeah. always well, veterans. I'm talking yeah. about when they got. I'm talking about when they got drafted. I'm talking yeah. about. I'm talking about when somebody. Well, yeah, Foles gotta, didn't. Foles get drafted to a different. Team he got drafted to a different team. Eagles. The Eagles picked him up. Yeah. Now you look at Brett Favre. He was playing. He was playing at, at a high percentage. They still got Aaron Rodgers anyway. Three years later, by Brett Favre, that we got Aaron Rodgers. You know, well, it's not messed hey, up. It's business. You you forget though. At that point in time, Favre already had like a 14 year career. Yeah. So like, okay, look at Matthew Stafford. Why not bring somebody in behind him? Jared Goff, you really ain't lived up to your height, even though we Man. we traded for you. you Why not bring somebody fun. behind him? Garoppolo, you've been on this team yeah. for three years. You ain't done nothing for he, us he, lately. He's legend, you ain't done nothing he for us lately. He just knows because you freaking love your Cam Garoppolo. Newton. Cam Newton for the Patriots. Chuck, I hope hey, you look. Garoppolo, if you're watching, he hearts you. Hey. You know what? And hold on, one more, one more statement. One Garoppolo more statement. One more statement. One hey, more hey, statement. John, you've Cam been making Newton. nothing but statements. Cam yeah, Newton. Dude. Cam Nobody Newton. Should the Patriots draft a quarterback behind Cam? Yes. Newton? Hell, fuck yeah. They're talking about so bringing Garoppolo back. It's not to just New England. It's not just your team. All these teams need a solid backup just in case these old starters that's on their team falter. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, I think we've exhausted this enough. We kind of know where uh, where we all stand. We are looking at forward <sighs> to this draft and our reactions here uh, coming up in the next, next Thursday night. So look for us. We're going to go live as soon as they <laughs> kick it off. We may do it, what, about a 10, 15-minute pre yeah. I can I can be here early on uh, Thursday, so yeah, I can, we, we can do whatever we need to do. I'll basically go straight there to get set up. So we and I'll, I'll, I'll just right down the street, so I'm good. All right. Uh, Kendall will come in we'll, later. We'll have year. what one one mic set up. You think would be good enough? One mic on the table. We loud enough for that. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that way it's like we can each take turns. We can yeah. fly, We don't need we'll all do one mic and air. Junior will uh, go for that. <laughs> it, it depends on if it's just us talking to, or to if it's half I had to let them know about that. Because <laughs> but, um, guess what? Anyway, but hey. hey, I'm smoking. <laughs> Calm down, anyway. Kendall. You'll be all right. All right. But thank you for joining us. Uh, a lot of what? Uh, nonsense dribble, but that's what we're good for. Hey. <laughs> it's the real world talk. This is what people do when they're with their friends talking sports. And we're, that's what, we're here capturing we're family, it just for friends. you. And we, that's what we try to bring you. The fun side. And we want your interaction. So please, like, subscribe, and uh, make comments below so that way we have something to talk about next week. And next, Kendall, hold up. Next week, we're going to have Kendall's number going across the screen so y'all can call him with the comments. (laughs) On that, we're out. Have a